welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Tori and today I have a team Project Fan 2020 update for you all. So this is a, oh my gosh. I just filmed a really long video and like my throat is really not having it at the moment, but we gonna continue because this is stress relief for me. So we gonna continue and the throat is just gonna have to deal with it. This project is created by Kat and Haley from Beauty News, and this is a year-long rotating type of project pan. Not rotating, rolling. There you go. That's the word. And it started the 1st of January, and it will end the 31st of December. And yeah, let's just jump into everything. Um, there's two empties for this update. The first one I do not have to show you. But I used up the NYX Photo HD Concealer in 01 Porcelain. I used that eight times before it was finished. So I'm happy to have another one down. And then the other one is from this palette. I completely used up Lyric. Um, that took 12 uses. And I'm very happy it's gone. And then since we're looking at this, we might as well talk about the other one that's here. This is Sombre. This is the contour shade. I've used this 17 times since the last update. It's still kicking. It's still going. Um, it's starting to flatten on the sides, which is nice. And then in grams, it hasn't changed. It's still 220 grams. That's okay. That's fine. Would have expected it to go down, but it's okay. That's fine. But yeah, I'm really happy that Lyric is done. And obviously... Once we go through everything that's left, I will talk about the two items that I pulled in to replace that. But now let's just go in the remaining order, like how I would do my makeup. So the first thing is primer. I still have the Revolution Pore Blur uh, Primer. I've used this eight times since the last update. This lost two grams. It now weighs 28 grams instead of weighing 30 grams. Um, I haven't used this as much as I normally would because it's having a hard time playing with some of my foundations. So I have to figure out what ones it can play with. I'm pretty sure I said this last time, but yeah, I thought I knew how to work with this and then it just looked like crap. So I don't know if it was this or if it was a certain foundation, but a foundation I have been liking is the Fenty foundation in 110. So it's currently now at this purple mark. So a big difference from the intro and the first update. I've used this only nine times since the last update. And it's gone down four grams. It's now 121 and it was 125. So that is very nice. I really do like this foundation. So when I do use this up, I eventually will repurchase another one. That's probably the only like high-end foundation I actually like. So that says something. <laughs> Next we have for powder, I have the Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. I can't get it in a straight line like always, but this is what it looks like. I've used it four times since the last update. Um, I'm slowly trying to use it more because I realized that my normal face powder I've been using has not been setting my face. Um, so I have to go in with this and another translucent powder I'm working on. This apparently gained a gram. It's now 64 grams and was 63. So thank you for that. Um, <laughs> next, I have my blush. This is the LA Colors Rad Rouge Blush in Awesome. Oh, so far, I've only used it six times since the last update. I'm trying to hit pan in a different blush. So I'm really close and then I'll go back to using up this one um, this still weighs the same weight it weighs 68 grams I didn't use it that much so it's kind of to be expected next let's see next we'll talk about this this is the NYX uh, glitter primer I've used this seven times since the last update I'm starting to like this again so hopefully the number next update will be in the double digits um, and this still weighs 11 grams. Next, this item, I don't know if it's drying out on me or what it's doing, but this is the Mini Stila Shimmering Glow in Twig. I've only used this twice, 
since the last update but the last time I used it it just like disappeared badly so yeah I need to mess with it and see if it's dried out if that's why it did that or what happened but it still weighs 20 grams next I have the NYX control freak uh, eyebrow gel this is a clear eyebrow gel from NYX I've used it 16 times since the last update and somehow it gained actually no it didn't gain it's the same weight it's 21 grams I feel like this is gonna be finished soon so nervous about that because I kind of really like it next is all the lip products so the first one we'll talk about is the lip scrub this is the blue raspberry lip scrub I've only used it once I keep forgetting about it I think I might pull a I don't know if Kat does this also but I know Haley does it where she puts the lip scrubs in the shower I think I'm going to follow suit and do that because I really just need use out of it and my lips really do need it um it still weighs it gained two grams it weighs 66 grams instead of 64 now so okay and this lip balm from covergirl I've been keeping in my school bag do I I don't think I have stats for this yeah I only have one I'm pretty sure I used it like four times but just forgot to mark it because I used it at school and didn't use it here. It still weighs 23 grams. Next, I have the lip liner I pulled in last one, last time, and that is the LA Colors Lip Liner in Nude. This is what it currently looks like. And I've only used it once since the last update. I haven't really been using lip liners. And it still weighs 4 grams. And then the last item before the two I pulled in is the NYX Powerpuff Lippy in Squad Goals. I've used this two times and somehow it apparently gained a gram. It weighs 18 grams and last update it weighed 17. So yeah, I definitely need to make sure I'm using some stuff more consistently with these, but I'm not too concerned. Now these two I'm pulling in one i really like so for the concealer i'm pulling in the born this way a uh, naturally radiant concealer in ferris i got this a while back ago from tj maxx so i knew i needed to pull it in soon because one because it's from a tj maxx so it's most likely older and two not don't think i'm gonna support Too faced anymore so you know gotta get some usage out of it i do like this I have worn it all over my face as foundation. I really do like it for that as well as, you know, concealer, what it's supposed to do. And at this moment, it weighs 27 grams. And then for highlighter, I pulled in the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Eclipse Skin Frost. So I think what I'm going to do is, I couldn't remember if the, like, rotation for when we switch it up was this month a refresh that's what they call it or if it was next month but i'm going to use this for three months so till the states are in summer and then once it is summertime and that refresh happens i'm going to pull this out and pull in something that i'm going to try to finish in the summer that's for highlighters but as of this moment i just want to get used out of this and try to possibly hit pan i need to get over the fact that that embossment needs to go um, because one thing about this highlighter in particular is Skin Frost are one really pretty, but they have a weird, especially this one, it has a weird problem with once it has face oils, like touches face oils, and I'm not that oily, so it automatically like preserves itself and seals up. Like I don't know how to explain it, and I scrape it all the time. So I just need to start like hitting pan and getting use out of it because this is the only one that has the major problem with this and this is the one out of the three I own that I find the prettiest and most wearable. So like, I need to use it up. It's not, it's not realistic with the scrapings and like having to do all that. I don't wanna repress it because this formula is not great at repressing. So I don't know but I need to get used out of it. So I'm throwing it in here. But yeah, 
this is my update for the team project pan if you enjoy me or you enjoy project pans don't forget to like comment and subscribe and all that jazz and peace out girl scout